Hello and welcome to this new episode of Esports News, your monthly coverage of esports events around the globe. Today, since esports was on vacation last month and everything starts literally today, then I'll be showing you guys what changed in the past month and telling you my prediction for the 2016 NALCS Spring Split and for Gen 3, which are both playing as we speak if you watch this video when it comes out. I'm Felix, your host, and let's get right into it. First of all, let's talk roster changes, as there were a lot of them during the offseason of the LCS. Basically, every team roster changed partially or completely. As you can see here, we have Cloud9 and Counterlogic Gaming. For C9, we've got Balls in the top lane, Rush, who was TIP's jungler last season in the jungle, Jensen in mid, Sneaky on AD Carry, and High and Bunny Fufu share the support role. For CLG, we have Darshan, previously named Zion Spartan in the top lane, Smithy in the jungle, Huhi, who was a sub last season in mid, Stixe, a totally new player on ID Carry, and our good old Aframu on support. Next up is Team Dignitas. We have Smitty J in the top lane and Kid A in the jungle, both rookies in the LCS. Shifter coming back in mid, Apollo, who was on TIP on AD Carry, and Kiwi Kid on support. Team Echo Fox is a completely new team on the NA scene, but it features some LCS veterans. In the top lane, we have KFO. Hart is in the jungle, Froggen, veteran of the EU LCS in mid, Keith on AD Carry, and Big on support. On screen here, we have two teams who bought their LCS spots from other teams. Team Immortals bought Team 8 spot, where Huni and Rainover, both Fnatic players from last year, are making a comeback in the LCS in the top and jungle respectively. Pulbelter, who was previously on CLG in mid, Wild Turtle, the longtime ADC for TSM at AD Carry, and Adrian on support. Energy Esports bought Team Coast Spot, with Impact, who won the Summoner's Cup with SKT T1 in Season 3 in the top lane, Moon in the jungle, GBM, previously on Genera Green Wings in the mid lane, Altec, former Gravity player on AD Carry, and Conquan on support. Next up is Renegades, another team of veterans. In the top lane is RF Legendary. Crumbs, longtime jungler for Dig in the jungle, Alex Siege, former player for Gambit Gaming in the mid lane, Freeze on AD Carry, and Remilia on support. Team Impulse was one of the jankiest teams in NA last season. This year, we have Fang in the top lane, Proxin in the jungle, Pyrene in mid, Mash, former Team Coast player on AD Carry, and Gate on support. Team Liquid is probably one of the least changed teams this split. We have Lorlo, a newcomer in the top lane, I Will Dominate coming back in the jungle, Phoenix reprising his role in the mid lane, Piglet rocking again on AD Carry, and Smoothie, previously on Team Dragon Knights, on support. Last but not least, we have Team Solo Mid, who made quite drastic changes this split. Hunter, former player for Gravity in the top lane, Svenskaren, previously on SK Gaming in the jungle, Bjergsen, the only one reprising his role from last year in mid, Double if trademark player for CLG on AD Carry and Yellow Star, coming to us straight from Fnatic on support. That's it for team rosters. Now it's time for my predictions. I think that TSM will win the split simply due to the sheer amount of talent they have on their team, as well as a refreshing breeze coming from these new players. I think CLG will be second, followed very closely by Immortals. The rest is quite unsure, but I think that TL will do really well, and I'm really eager to see what this new Team Echo Fox can do. Alright, enough league for today. Let's jump right into Genesis 3, which is playing right now. So, singles are starting later today, and I'm really looking forward to this. As this is the first tournament of the season, it'll be important to see the standings at the beginning of this new year. All six gods are attending this tournament, I believe. Um, yes, six gods, I do consider Leffen as a god now. I'm looking forward to see PPMD's Falco, as we haven't seen him in a very long time. For predictions, I think that Leffen is going to stand up his game this tournament and beat Hungrybox, and Yuta King will knock him out. I think we'll have Armada vs Leffen in winner's finals, where Armada will be able to clutch it out. In loser's finals, we'll see Mango vs Leffen, where Mango will win pretty convincingly, and Armada will win the second set of grand finals. 
That was very precise, I know, but I'm basing my predictions from streams I've seen and past tournament performances. If this is how it actually happens, I may or may not call myself a god. <laughs> Alright, that's it for this episode of eSports News for the months of December and January. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to smash that like button to tell me. This was Felix, signing out. Welcome to the show.